name is Richard Chapman Harris. Uh, I'm a gay man, and I'm the Equality, Diversity, and Inclusion Manager for Mock McDonald. Other industries compared to engineering do vary. Uh, if we look at the military and armed services and policing have moved forward around uh, community engagement, again, to tackle previous historical challenges. Uh, other industries, you know, banking or financial services, have uh, engaged in a huge amount of good practice that the engineering sector can really learn from. Uh, and we are picking up those key points in order to progress and to collaborate to improve the success around LGBT plus inclusion for our, our sector. LGBT plus inclusion is so important from a personal but also a business perspective. So LGBT plus staff who feel included at work um, are more productive, they're happier, uh, there's improved retention, but also from a business perspective we see that there's greater innovation from staff who feel comfortable at work. And again that innovation supports the business in performing more positively and more dynamically. Two key challenges that the engineering and construction industry faces with regards to LGBT plus inclusion um, is around the standards of language and behaviour. That comes out from several pieces of research that staff do not feel that there's an inclusive environment, um, that maybe the use of language or even moving into bullying harassment space specifically affects the LGBT plus community and, uh, within the businesses as well. I think alongside that a challenge really is raising the dialogue. Um, so being open and talking about LGBT plus inclusion um, and, and being quite engaged in the topic as something that is a positive for the business and for our staff rather than maybe being framed as, as a nice thing to do. Actually it's fundamental to any organisation to perform and to continue to perform to do so in an inclusive way. Being a woman um, or being an ethnic minority or having a disability and part of the LGBT plus community does have added challenges um, and again we hear uh, framing around doubly disadvantaged, um, the challenges around intersectionality um, and it's important that we include that as part of our dialogue right at the outset. Um, so we're engaging with these topics and understanding the diversity within LGBT plus diversity uh, right at the forefront of the work that we're doing. At Muck McDonald, we've really focused on uh, equality, diversity and inclusion and as part of that LGBT plus inclusion is, is key. Uh, we have our advancing LGBT plus network and we have champions who are provided with time and budget to focus on LGBT plus inclusion um, and those champions have been so key working with the EDI team to deliver events around uh, Pride. Uh, we've marked LGBT History Month for the last two years um, and also we're working on active visible role models uh, within the LGBT plus space. Key things other companies can do to support LGBT plus inclusion and indeed inclusion for, for all staff um, is have the dialogue you know, speak to your staff, um, you know, organise safe, inclusive uh, focus groups to say, well, well, what could we as a business do more to support you, to represent you, to understand your experiences of working here? So uh, I would say that's on a qualitative level. Also invest in a, a quantitative survey. So not only your employee engagement survey, but actually have a survey that drills down into the diversity detail, that actually asks questions about all protected characteristics and that captures diversity monitoring so you can split those results in a way that tells you this is what our um, you know, gay and female staff in this location are, t are saying to us. Um, whilst being mindful not to drill down to the level of detail that you could identify in individuals. Um, so I think quality, quantity, but also engage your leaders with that business case. Make sure they understand and they can access uh, the opportunities around LGBT plus inclusion. Um, and then finally also work more broadly. So work with specialist organisations, uh, work collaboratively with your peers in order to harness the best practice that may be out there. My advice to people thinking of joining the, the engineering construction industry um, is probably the advice I'd give you know, to anyone really, is, is do your research, uh, understand the organisation you're applying to, but I would say specifically as an LGBT plus individual is look at the culture points, um, look to see are there role models who are visible in the business, uh, what are they saying about diversity, um, because I mean, I know I wouldn't want to join a company that, that wouldn't make me feel included because actually I'm then going to have to um, be questioning or worrying about things that I wouldn't do in a more inclusive business. Um, and again, perhaps as an equality, diversity and inclusion manager, uh, you know, I understand every day the value of having an inclusive culture in a company, but also staff 
even if their focus is on, you know, a, a very straightforward engineering project, actually how you feel amongst that team. Do they listen when you're talking? Do they speak over you? Do they cut you off? Um, do you feel included? Do you worry about people sort of um, asking questions or gossiping? These are all the microaggressions that can happen and impact on LGBT plus individuals. So I would say do your research and um, choose the best company that's going to be able to value you 100% uh, of the time. For me personally, I, I would recommend uh, working in the engineering construction space. Um, for me, the opportunities are, are, are so broad um, and the, the key thing with any industry really is that there will be challenges, um, but there will also be huge opportunities. Uh, one specific area I would say, um, based on working with a global firm, is that there are obviously challenges around LGBT plus migration, but actually if you choose an organisation that will recognise and support you, again this links to the point about research, is that there are huge amount of opportunities to work in a huge diverse range of projects in the engineering space and also projects that do change the landscape of our world um, which again I think is a really exciting opportunity and prospect so for me that's one of the key reasons why I think engineering construction is a good avenue for, for anyone looking to you know impact globally and solve some of the, the world's key challenges.